Developing now, a driver is dead and a passenger is critically injured following a crash in Miami Gardens. And that's where we find local tenant Syra Onward. She's joining us live with what we're now learning about those who were involved. Syra? So, Christy and Janice, this deadly crash happened in this Miami Gardens neighborhood around 2 a.m. It also wrecked a bunch of parked cars in the area like this Honda right here. So far, we know that one woman died. A woman was airlifted in critical condition. Another woman is badly injured. And a male driver who tried to run away will soon face some pretty serious criminal charges. Two mangled cars in the roadway throughout the early morning hours on Northwest 207th Street. One woman died. Very tragic. Very tragic. Bernard Thomas has lived in this Miami Gardens neighborhood for more than three decades. His red truck, one of several vehicles parked on the street, totaled in the deadly 2 a.m. crash. My neighbor woke me up and told me there's an accident outside because I have a couple of cars outside. And when I came out, I saw all the cars being damaged and there was a lady in the street. Miami Gardens police say there were two women in this silver Kia Optima. The woman driving died. Her sister, who was in the passenger seat, was ejected and airlifted to a hospital in critical condition. Inside the overturned Mercedes SUV, a woman with a broken sternum and the male driver who police say tried to carry her away while running away from the scene of the crash. Police say they have enough DNA evidence from the scene to identify him. Sky 10 above the neighborhood near Hard Rock Stadium and Robert Rennick High School. Police investigating throughout the morning. The cars are towed away before 10 a.m. Police say speeding through the residential area likely played a big role in this crash. Bernard Thomas says he's not surprised. I knew something was going to happen seriously around here because all the cars that come up the small block, they'd be doing sometime 80, 90 miles per hour, and it's not the end of it. It's going to keep on going to something we done around here. Cause you can always replace it, but you know, how, how somebody could kill, you know, for what? So police have not yet released the names of anyone involved. They also haven't listed the criminal charges that the driver of that Mercedes will soon be facing. That is the very latest live in Miami Gardens. Syra Onworth, Local 10 News.